guys good evening you complete 30 years at dabur yeah unbelievable and you are telling me before this you exited z to move to dabur yeah and look at the coincidence you are being hounded by both the z guys right here <laughs> Ashish Segal, my friend of 20 years, Rajiv Dubey, we go back almost what, more than a decade now, yeah. being buddies. No, no, more than a decade, almost two decades. Almost two, we two attended decades. so many Absolutely. parties yeah. together. It's always a pleasure. So, in fact, I used to service uh, Rajiv when he was at Dabur and I used to be in an agency. That was 30 years ago. 30 years 30 ago. 30 years ago. Oh, time flies. Yes. Oh, 30 years, it's scary. We still don't feel like we've been in the dust. Years so I look, I look like... feel so young. So, Rajiv, I've known you for almost two decades now. Always a pleasure to know you and always a pleasure to chat up with you. Thank you, you so know, much. You know, I do these shows because... It just enlightens me and there's so much for me to learn from yeah. all of you guys together. Thank you so much. So that's Mona Jain and we've got Ashish Segal. We go more than, we go two and a half decades back. That's right. Okla Industrial and... Estate 205 on the second floor, first floor and we used to spend so much time. And it's so beautiful. Life is so beautiful, uh, Ashish. We are and chatting by the together. way, I finished 18 years in Z today. I mean, not today, uh, about a month back. Eleven. So listen, all the crew behind the cameras, the treats are going to be funded both by Rajiv and Ashish. Yeah, they, absolutely. They complete their 18 years and... 30, 30 years, years today and uh, lovely chatting up with you guys. So let's get out to business. Some Absolutely. more learnings for me. Yeah. Dabur, one of the biggest uh, brands in FMCG amongst the top 10, $1.5 billion dollars almost. Is yeah. that right? That's right. So what percentage of that money do you spend on advertising? They might be more keen to know. <laughs> right? And do you get a share of that or not? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah. So, you know, obviously the fair share goes to uh, the top networks. And uh, uh, I'll give you the published figures, which are about uh, 7 to 8 percent of our total uh, revenue goes into advertising and promotion at Roka, right. is what we call it. Wow, that's a huge number, yeah? So all I'm calculating how much percentage do I get out of you're, that. You're wondering if all of it came to Z News only, you'd be done. <laughs> Absolutely. This is Z News ka top line. <laughs> See, abhi that's, abhi crores. that's your revenue. Uh, that's your uh, annual numbers. Yes. What a huge number. And Mona and Ashish together, you guys write approximately six thousand crores if i'm not mistaken five to six thousand crores that's the entire z group both of that's you. only advertising money yeah. but as a total revenue we cross more than a billion dollars you cross more than a billion dollars yes so uh, you're looking at the distribution side so leaving the distribution side only on the advertising side should be about five to six thousand absolutely uh, that's a huge that's a huge huge number so ashish asking you what's your revenue split between uh, digital and uh, linear so, Z Entertainment, I think the split will be right now, it's still about 90-10. Okay. 90% on linear and 10% on digital. Okay. That's... Because our new focus has been uh, towards the s word business on digital. Right. And uh, the balance is obviously the other platforms like social media and YouTube, etc. Right. A very little monetization as we still want to focus on the linear side of the business, but that's more profitable. Brilliant. But tell me, your uh, your reach in terms of digital is much higher than 10%. The, money, the, the consumption of all Z Entertainment Limited content, okay. right? Yeah. So you get much, much more than 10% coming through through digital, right? So, so the today, digital monetization uh, is not commensurate with, uh, with the with Not the really. Data. As I said, see, total MAUs for uh, um, Z5 is approximately 100 million. Right. Whereas uh, the that's our monthly MOU kind of a system. And right. For uh, Z Network, right. we cross about six hundred fifty million viewers. Right. Monthly. Right. Across all our uh, channels. That's a pretty decent number, Mona. In in on the on the Z Media Corporation. So just to introduce Z in broadly into two categories: the news side and the entertainment side. That takes care of the entire conglomerate. And in your case, what would be your split of a thousand crores approximately? About 25 percent. Approximately 25 percent. So I'll, I'll throw in some numbers for you. The reach that you get out of digital is on a monthly basis from the Chrome uh, track panel is almost 60 million. And the number is only growing. And this is across all digital endpoints, which would be YouTube plus native app plus third party apps put together comes to almost 60 million against the cable and satellite reach which is at about 170 million which is again a number in the public domain yeah that's 35 percent plus that's almost 40 percent right but again the same challenge your your revenues are not 40 percent on digital right it's all cable and satellite driven so i think um, essentially Pankaj, mostly you know people are now kind of you know warming up to the fact that they need to buy tv digital integrated 
right. earlier it was a lot of push happening from the broadcasters i mean right. obviously they were kind of setting up you know building the product and digital you know and they were pushing it in the marketplace but probably the market was not very uh, open to looking at an integrated scenario right maybe because of the lack of data or not being able to really understand the measurement system how they kind of really look at the roi part of it which is the essential of right. especially buying on the jana right but now increasingly i can tell you one thing in the past 3 to 4 months you know i actually i'm getting briefs from the advertisers and the agencies and talking tv digital integrated wow. and because of that you know i could i can say maybe the next 2 3 months when i speak to you you know it will be a different scenario altogether there's also because the planning is becoming integrated becoming now. integrated app sorry the planning was separate there were two different guys one guy planning for tv another guy planning for digital so they would never talk to each other and they were never so in your team you have the same guy running so we are we are we are, we are now doing integrated planning going forward see what dabas so was I mean, we just did uh, that integrated team yeah which is combined risk of across the right wow plus digital so yeah. but tell me uh, rajiv since uh, they are basically their recipients Yeah. Of the decisions that you make in your castle at Dabur, well, what percentage no, of no, your spends? So first of all, there's no castle. <laughs> what percentage of your spends of almost the th- almost the eight seven uh, almost the one thousand? So I was I was sparing this question. Are on digital <laughs> vis-a-vis on on so convention. I was sparing this question. So so I'll tell you first of all to clarify the seven seven to eight percent is uh, ad pro spend, which is above the line plus below the line. Out of above the line, thirty percent is going to uh, digital right now. Okay, and uh, that combines all your performance marketing, your influencer marketing, all your videos which you make, all the promotion which you do on across uh, buying your uh, inventory across uh, video inventory across uh, platforms. All that put together about thirty percent of a total above the line business. Brilliant is is into digital. Brilliant. However, the business generated by us at our say twelve thousand crore level, uh, roughly about ten percent of that business would be coming out of the online. Oh, so how do you? Att- so you're talking about online sales. But so ten percent is online. Transaction sales. is online sales, but 10%. the cause of that transaction could be traditional or online. The cause could be anything. Is it fair to assume, or is there any way to calculate that thirty percent of your sales also happen through those thirty percent of spends? Because digital is partly addressable to a great extent. If it was so clearly, uh, if data is so clearly available, now your online job will not be. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Jobs. Absolutely. Ashish, you and I chat. Uh, we had a breakfast chat uh, at the in Bombay two weeks back when we decided to do this chat. So I, I, I want you to put your thoughts together. I'll come back to you. And you had a lot to contribute on A Ward versus S Ward, where the gap lies in the industry. So we'll just come to that. But before that, uh, Rajiv, what are you doing to target? Uh, Millennials and Gen Zs, because they are now the ones the decision makers, right? And they are all in digital. The younger Absolutely. generation. Absolutely. So, uh, so that audience is ever new and you know they are like these. These people are not available on TV or say any traditional platform, so as to say. So you have to keep uh, trying to understand these audiences, where these audiences are, and typically these audiences are found on say through uh, uh, influencer uh, route or say uh, going digital or say exploring something altogether different. Like th- this year, we experimented with cricket. Huh. on tv and on digital both okay and those audiences are completely different audiences those audiences are not the same audiences as what you get on yes. the regular uh, channel entertainment channels etc yes. so this we call them zoomers so, the, the the ones who post 2000 and all they are purely digital ye to tv dekhte nahi hai is that right to assume to a great extent all beyond yeah. 2000 2000 my daughter is now 15 she's never ever watched television i don't know about your kids but they are purely purely ott purely 100% digital right but you know if you look at the data if you look at the bark data if you trust bark bark data whatever data is available with you uh, that's not to a majority of population oh, sorry on the bark data i'll come to you you might have a lot to vent out or speak <laughs> right i don't know if you i might want to share if some I data. may if i can you might you might want to share some <laughs> yes, time time yeah, data yeah, that you're yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, 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 about yeah. the show sorry please so if you look at the data whatever data sources you have uh, the audiences are uh, split the way uh, it is it is shown like in the sense that youngsters are still watching tv it's not yeah. that they completely you know, walked away from tv but yes a significant chunk has moved out of out of tv as well right all the zoomers as you as you call them right. uh it's difficult to catch their attention right attention span is what uh, one uh, has to look at i mean what kind of attention span right they have and uh, that's how the advertising is targeted shorter ads shorter edits the real form of advertising yeah and uh, all the newer formats whatever you can think of yeah so since i am part of a data company please allow me to to share some numbers absolutely right so you guys can comment on that india is a very complicated market it's hugely heterogeneous we are talking of a population of 142 crores or 1429 million individuals as per the latest 
numbers that have come out. We are talking of a country where we speak 22 languages, which basically means when you're trying to sell Dabur, you actually have to communicate in probably 22 different languages to cater to all the uh, all the country. 28 states, 12 religions, 234 million TV households yeah. in India at this point in time. Cable and satellite has come down to 162 million, which include free dish. Pay plus, which is 116 so plus free dish. This is like 234 million would be it would include the smart ones, which is uh, 162 plus connected. So connected. So uh, the last box uh, baseline said 210 million. That's become 162 now. No, that is so. That is 234. The 210 is become 234, yeah, okay. and 162 is cable and satellite, right? Uh, so we got 162 million cable and satellite homes, 857 MSOs, cable operators. So still a hugely heterogeneous market. Lots of cable yeah. operators who control what's happening. There's a local cable channel that runs. Till date, Ashish, we have 53,000 local LMUs, last mile operators. Last so mile. Because that's money comes. 53,000. Which validates the fact to a great extent, which I want you to elaborate. TV is there to stay. It's a huge industry. Absolutely. One, three, 53,000 LMOs. And at this point in time, in India, beaming into Indian homes, you've got almost 1,300 channels, right? Including everything licensed or not licensed. 319 pay channels, including many of the channels that you guys run. And 951 FTA channels. Absolutely. So two things for you, Ashish. India is a FTA market in terms of channels as well. Is that right? Absolutely. So, uh, not really only FTA market. So, let me start from the beginning as to, you know, where TV comes in in terms of consumption from a entertainment or a video viewing point of view. Because today, you know, major term is video viewing. Yeah. Now, video is available in any platform. Right. So, let's understand where is it available and how it's getting consumed. Right. TV still is the biggest medium through which video is consumed. Uh in terms of reach. But and TV also, you mean on a big device or you mean linear Yeah, uh, the linear translation of uh, linear translation of, of video viewing. Okay. And linear is viewed on TV only. Right. Uh, it's not available on small handsets, etc. Right. So hence it's large screen, firstly. Secondly, it is appointment viewing. Obviously, because when you're watching something linear, it has to be appointment viewing. And linear has highest reach and highest time spent. That's it's right. Still higher time spent than uh, any other medium, which is having No, but a... why? Sorry to disagree on that, but linear consumption is approximately two and a half hours a day for TV, as per the bark data as well. It's about almost three hours. Three between, hours plus. Between two to three hours. During the time days, it was two hours. With bark, it's come to almost three hours. Yeah. If you look at the screen time on TV, on, on mobile phones and reels, it touches four to six hours with this new generation of Zoomers. No, but the average time spent is still less than TV spend time By spent. averaging everyone together. Yes, yes. Okay. So you can't just, you know, talk about one medium. Sure. You know, out of that thing. Uh, so from that perspective, TV uh, is obviously reaching still the higher or the linear medium is still reaching the higher this thing. Now, uh, let's go to the digital side where the consumption is increasing and, uh, you know, going ahead. Uh, there are many other platforms which are emerging. Whether it is streaming, whether it is streaming on uh, you know handsets, mobiles, TV, connected TV, etc., or through uh, you know uh, handed, I mean, yeah, of course. So streaming primarily, and secondly, uh, the kind of content available. Sure. You know through the video consumption. So whether it is uh, you know influencer videos, Instagram, YouTube uh, consumption, or even today, digital con consists of email consumption, WhatsApp consumption, uh, you know, e-commerce consumption, etc. Right. So when we talk about digital numbers or digital ad revenue, which we target, we say that, you know, it's reaching about 50,000 crore. It is an accumulation of search uh, numbers. It is accumulation of e-commerce or uh, it's accumulation of, you know, AWOD. Uh, As for plus performance. Plus performance. Sure. Etc. So all that put together, however, the linear TV is not competing with all this sure. revenue, sure. right? Because e-commerce, when they are doing advertising, it's POP. Earlier, the guy who used to go and have, you know, their, their own, like Dabur used to go and, sp they still do the branding on danglers, etc. at the point of purchase. So we used to call it POP, right? Sure. So e-commerce is a space which is actually addressing that space. When I'm ready to buy, 
I want to go and purchase something. That is the space you would go and a brand would go and influence. Right. Right. So that used to be brand. The larger role of TV or linear medium is still to spread the awareness, make brand, uh, you know, build their, uh, you know, equity amongst the consumers' mind. Sure. And from that perspective, there is still no other medium which competes with that. I, I listen, I don't disagree with you uh, with the fact that television is still here to stay for a long, long yeah. time. And mentioned that, that there are so many cable operators, there are so many DTH operators, there is free TV which is still... And the existing because getting, there is demand. Know, yeah. So if there are about approximately 55 to 60,000 distributors of a certain medium, sure, right? They are doing their livelihoods through this medium. They are also investing time, money and infrastructure pushing this particular medium. At the same time, broadcasters are building the content right. which addresses and creates, you know, point wing wing. Yeah. Now, making today content for appointment wing is much harder than actually creating a web series on any movie which you can watch at your own sweet time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. hence, the the whole focus is the how we build the content. Correct. In our uh, linear medium today, story is not the hero. Sure. You know, it is the character which we build over a period of time. People follow character. Anywhere in any medium today, you see the highest consumption is following an influencer. Right. Whether in Instagram or any other place, you are the maximum marketing as them. And the biggest influencers are sitting on television. Right. Okay. And that is because, and whether it is news channel, whether it is entertainment, or even your film actors, sure. etc. Sure. Right. Even so the they are the ones who are influencing the that, today's yeah. decision or today's consumption habits, you know, the, the, uh, Product consumption happens through your creating of your habits. Yeah. Habits are formed by getting influenced by certain way of uh, style of living, right? Right. So today still there is a large population. Right. Or I would say major population, they are getting influenced by the kind of characters they follow and follow the storylines on right. television medium. Right. And with that helps them. And believe you me, the the lot of uh, studies, many other this thing, the trust factor still retains with the TV characters. Sure, sure. I completely agree with you. That might be a big debate with the movie. I think very valid point to me. In terms of people getting influenced by very good point and personalities. Yeah. But that's a good point yeah. which I take. Mona, you want to share some numbers? But before you do that, on, on Z, how Z Media Company is doing under your able guidance. You so fabulously well. So while, you put, while you put down your thoughts together, I'll just come <laughs> to Rajiv. <laughs> and I'm very keen to know on something which is very close to my heart. Yeah. Health. You're a cyclist and I do try to emulate you on the cycling, but manage to do a bit of yoga and gymming. There's a lot of focus that people are going towards health. Yeah. As far as eating out is concerned, broadly, it's all about taste. There is health takes a backseat. As far as Dabur is concerned, in your entire communication and both the product, what is the weightage on health as a communication aspect? And does that make a dent with people by saying that it's all about health? Or is it about taste or it's a hybrid of two? So there are, there are different products which uh, suit uh, uh, different uh, uh, communication. So all the health care products, like if you look at Chowan Prash, Honey, Real Juice, Homemade, Base, they all uh, talk about health in some way. That's right. right? And the other personal care products, obviously, they talk about uh, their own benefits in uh, That's right. terms of uh, like oral care products talk about oral benefits. That's right. Uh, hair care products talk about hair uh, care benefits, etc. So, uh, whatever uh, products which are targeted, uh, which are healthcare products, are uh, they all talk about health benefits? Yeah, but does that make the dent in the market, right? Because a lot of people are becoming more and more aware about. So our so health. So I know I can't name yeah. the brand. There could be some other brands competitive, but I see a lot of campaigns or radio which purely are directed to the fact how good it is for you, how healthy it is for you, and by the way, ye tasty bhi hai. Hmm. LDB, DSTB types. Haan. So, yeah, so I mean, if you look at our uh, the our products like Chowan Prash, Honey, etc., their markets, uh, market shares, you know, yeah. they uh, say a lot about uh, our efforts, you know, yeah. in terms of uh, uh, the kind of communication we've driven and how it has worked for us. It's definitely working for, for, for us somewhere, yeah. uh, especially for uh, the healthcare products, you know. Uh, Completely. To take, take, for example, juices also. Juices also, we uh, use health. Uh, yeah, that's uh, benefit right. Benefit of, of juices. Yeah, and for uh, John Prashan, and these three products are all fifty percent, sixty percent market share brands in the market. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So that's that's the communication that resonates with audiences. 
in terms of if you look at the data uh, again on on across across internet and across cable and satellite as as we stand at this point in time ballpark yeah. the numbers for cable and satellite stands at about 726 million individuals which is all cable and satellite which is linear broadcast where you can't rewind forward pause play uh, internet stands at about 836 million so people who have access to some form of the internet which obviously means they'll have access to video content as well the overlap between the 726 million and 836 million stands at about 387 million viewers whereas leaving only internet at about 450 million which is higher than cable and satellite not only that if you were to look at the advertising on on uh, on digital that has surpassed the numbers on on cable digital advertising is almost 50000 crores you can correct me on that number since you are on the buying side television is at about 31000 crores right so uh, one is that uh, those, those numbers excite is, you and those those, those numbers worry you so one is one is that you know it's not a video to video comparison yes so if you compare television as a video platform versus uh, say digital as a video platform then this 50,000 number will look very small. Correct. But this uh, this combines a lot of things, like what Ashish said. Uh, it combines. But in a way, it's eating marketing. out of the same revenue pie, right? Uh, we don't know that. No, well, it's eating out it of the total it, advertising it, it, it is about two trillion dollars. So video will video will eat out of video revenue, not not out of say performance. Performance is different, right? Performance is different. Yeah. So it, 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 it takes into account the performance. So it's a combination of incremental revenue, revenue coming in on digital, and obviously it's going to be cannibalizing so, the television. So uh, so one is that you know the, the revenue from your digital, which is like online business, it's growing, it's growing very fast. Uh, a significant of business out of FMCG is coming out of. Uh, uh, the online sales now, 10% for us and uh, for the rest of the industry also, it will be in the similar range, it's growing. So there is there's merit in investing behind it, uh, yeah. undoubtedly. Uh, but is it TV eating into TV revenue? I think it's too early to say that. No, TV in absolute numbers, TV is also growing. It's relatively growing at a faster pace because digital is obviously a newer medium. Since you start from zero, the growth will be exponential and TV is growing at a relatively slower pace. But the fact is for that matter, even print, Everything is growing in India. There's nothing that is not print not is growing, growing well. in absolute numbers. And in fact, in fact, uh, since you mentioned print, I, let me tell you that you know if you want to create an impact today, then there's nothing like print today. You know, front it, page. it works front page. Ad. Bang on, yeah, bang yeah. on. It works bang very very well. It makes a huge dent. It's uh, the market. it's like running one ad in your World Cup final or something like that. Yeah, it, it works like that. Almost like that. Correct. So Ashish and Mona, you can both take this. You can take it alternatively. But uh, we've been there for a long, long time, two and a half decades or more to a great extent and you witness the transition they say that we are going through the biggest generation divide right with this with this huge explosion of digital there's always a generation gap between us and our parents and we and our kids but they say that we are going through the maximum divide because our kids despite being at home to a great extent are connected elsewhere thanks to digital technology good or bad same thing holds for work and business right we've had lots of friends lots of peers who moved out and some of us are doing well uh, what does it take to remain relevant and you yourselves are going through this huge transition from cable and satellite conventional uh, conventional selling to digital right so what, what what exactly is it what does it take and a huge amount of learning so i want both of you to comment on that it's not about data but this is for for everyone to understand because th I'll, I'll tell you where i'm coming from they say that you will not lose your job to artificial intelligence you'll probably lose your job to someone who knows how to use artificial yeah. intelligence so it is so important to say relevant and connected so probably i'll take the question yes, first since you haven't spoken so much yes since been constantly you constantly you, plug you, in your data i know you you've, you've been you. kind of lobbying with you know <laughs> with zeal and with Davos and poor me <laughs> the news is getting <laughs> sidelined you know but having said that i think that, like i said i'll take this question first because yes. i'm probably older than older than both of them no you're the lady i've been yes. in the industry for the longest all of us is yes i think the important thing is first of all um, uh, we actually belong to the media planning fraternity that right. was uh, our foundations are and i think and we will very in the early stages of life learn to love data right. i think that point in time the data was very very you know uh, it wasn't easy to extract data analyze data because nothing was so computerized the way it is right now yeah. uh, the ability also was very limited you know and because of that we used to actually kind of you know do much more mining of data than what we do probably right now yeah. you know and therefore we all kind of probably fell in love with data so if you love data i think that data is remains relevant even now yeah. you know and uh, and therefore you adapt to the change of the environment you yes. know to what's really happening around the landscape you know and yeah. uh, and the data remains the same it's just that the way you interpret the data where the data sources come from it's much yeah. faster 
you will always remain irrelevant. You'll yeah. always enjoy your work. I so, completely agree. Yeah. And I, I just want to add to that, Ashish, before you speak, that I had friends, and, and now I realize they were good friends who in 2014 and 15 used to tell me, invest in digital. And I was like, what is digital? Facebook, I can put my own post here. Yeah. I never thought of that beyond. It took us like five, seven years of people pushing us to invest in Chrome Digital Media, which is a pure digital marketing company. But the fact is that you need to stay connected with your grounds in the ear to know exactly what's happening, right? To stay relevant in the business. So what does it take for zeal and you to, to still be so relevant in the business after 25 years since I've known you? So I take can't that comment as a about, yes, thank you. <laughs> I can't comment about zeal, but I'll comment on myself personally. So firstly, you know, as everybody says, learning is a continuous process. One has to keep learning. At no stage or age or experience, you stop learning. Yeah. Uh, from my perspective, you know, for me, it is first the consumption and then the learning. So I, I believe in whatever is happening in the world, you need to consume first. When you know firsthand how what is happening, you will be able to learn I'm about so glad that you faster. Work for a tobacco brand. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. But anyway, continue. <laughs> so, from that perspective, see, if I tell you, I started watching OTT almost fifteen years back, or maybe more, right. ever since the advent of OTT right. in this country. Uh, I still watch still linear content as well. I am on Instagram. I am on YouTube. I am on uh, you know Facebook. Uh, sorry, your WhatsApp. Your you know Trend we, now, using trends. Is it, you know, I X, X. absolutely X, you know, LinkedIn, everywhere you say I'm, I'm but listen, sorry, the most and active on social media I see the gentleman on my right hand side. Yes. That's right. right. And now yeah, followed yeah. by Mona constantly putting, by him. In, yeah. putting in LinkedIn posts. Yeah. I have to. <laughs> I have no option. So, <laughs> since we've asked you to many questions. Correct. So I have to put that as a thing. No, I have to tell you to plug in your video if you want to, but you're not doing it. So it's no, so. because uh, the context is very different. I don't want to get a plug. Yeah. <laughs> So just to give you a perspective, if I was in Dabur, I may not be consuming each and every product. Yes. But by the way, I consume almost uh, more than 50% of their products also at home. <laughs> now there's like a mutually admiration society. Admiration now society. Now you spend, you spend 50% on you spend 50% of your money on him. <laughs> <laughs> we have a deal, huh? there's a cut somewhere here. So let's, okay. Yeah, yeah. Being in Z, the one thing which you learn is how to have an entrepreneurial mindset. Right. Is that for now, Z entertainment or Z media or both? I think it's the culture across both the, this thing coming down right and that, from uh, Subhash that emanates from an entrepreneur himself. Yeah, so that emanates uh, from the uh, you know Subhash Chandra himself. Uh, so from that perspective, today the learning perspective comes from if I have to do this business tomorrow, what is the next step for me to enhance the overall business opportunity for the organization? And for that, what I have to learn and make a business strategy from that perspective is how I make myself out of it. Every financial year, you know, that's how our system starts. Yeah. yeah. You know, every financial year, I don't look back last 17 years what I did maybe yes. or 18 years I yes. did. I start my job afresh from that first April and see how this year I'm going to perform. And for them, this year, what is going to be more relevant I from my agree. job's perspective, I try to, you know, excel that. Brilliant. So, Mona, I firmly believe this is a fact and I'm saying this as a data analyst, not as a consumer of news. I do not consume too much news in all fairness. I'm a data analyst. And from all the research that we've done, practically for all of you in this room, legacy brands, India is a country of habit. Yes. Legacy, legacy brands, which are the big four, and I would call the Zig four as Arch Tuck, ABP, Z and India TV, to a great extent, they've all been in business for over two decades, 24-7 news. And you have consumers who've been watching it forever. One consumer is my mother, right? It's a habit. She's used to a particular channel on a particular number. Come what may, she will watch the channel. Do the numbers that you get on wherever you get your numbers, at least on the ratings panel, do they tally with the top four? Or if there is a gap, which I know there is, why is the, that gap and what are you doing to cover it up? The sincere packing. So put your thoughts together. And I'm going to speak to Rajiv and then I'm coming to uh, coming to you on that one. The point is, as a revenue head, as a chief revenue officer, it's very difficult when you know that you are number two, three or four, yet you're told that you're not number that, you're somewhere far behind. How do you tackle that as a revenue officer is what I want to understand from you and for the understanding of many others. Uh, so while you put your thoughts together, um, so the world has been talking, Rajiv, constantly about artificial 
intelligence to a great extent and AI is now booming over the last six, eight months. Everyone's drafting using AI to a great extent, good or bad, and virtual reality. You must be using a lot of AI in your business. So in our business, uh, uh, we have seen use cases in a lot of uh, functions. One is starting with the packaging, which I, this is what I understood uh, in our internal uh, meetings and then in supply chain, etc. But more applied to my, my side of business, uh, the use case is not very uh, predominant right now because uh, a lot of work has to happen. But what I see in future is that uh, a predictive analysis uh, using the AI, using the data, current data, can really help in media planning and say, deciding what kind of rating up a certain kind of program will generate, a certain kind of set of uh, visuals will generate. Uh, then using AI in creating ads, in creating uh, different kind of uh, videos, but using data, media planning is something which is like really left behind. We are like far, far behind in that. A lot of work needs to be, needs to happen. And uh, when so I will sorry, sorry to cut you, but I'll try and lies with you on the fact that today with digital, which is a decent indicator of overall consumption of, yeah. of content, you have real time data happening or what's happening because unlike the people meter days, you 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 don't have to install boxes. You can actually just install some kind of an application on a phone or a connected TV, which we do. And we tell you real time. So Arnab, I had met. Okay, so I'm putting this on record. And Arnab was the guy who said that, listen, if there is a breaking news happening, we are investing tons of resources on making this happen. Unfortunately, we can't monetize it. The cost of content is huge, but we're not being able to monetize it because the advertiser does not know that right now from a thousand people, I've got a hundred thousand people watching me, whatever the number is, right? Now that number is available in real time because there is one, there is YouTube data, which I honestly believe is great, which a lot of advertisers are using. And then we have consolidated data of YouTube plus third-party app plus native app put together in real time. Does that make a difference and does that help you invest? And do we have a situation where Rajiv can call up Mona and say that, listen, this is right now Ram Mandir happening or a big thing happening. Can you please plug in five ads now? Absolutely, we did it, we did it last week. Exactly what happened. Exactly, exactly what happened last weekend. Uh, I was not aware of exactly that. Exactly what happened. And I was sitting at the PC uh, trying to kind of ensure I plug in the time that you wanted to be plugged in. <laughs> plug you can do that. Last uh, uh, week on 22nd, uh, which is... Uh, Ram Mandir consecration day and then thereafter uh, whatever happened in Bihar last week. So that's a so giant step forward. So uh, it's always in there, it's more manual. I think uh, it has to become more scientific and more data driven. Yeah. You know, if you can get concurrent numbers and you know. But there would, then you have concessional rates because you know, numbers are going up three or four times. Ram yeah, Mandir yeah, was the top three for it. Yeah, so, no, so rate doesn't go up. Sorry, yeah, rate doesn't go up for Because you're a big spender. No, not because oh, of that. They don't have not the customer. There there's, there's no time there to negotiate at that point. We just want to put something on air right, right away. Right. So, and you have a deal. No, 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 no. So, never the, the rate did go up. You know, I, 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 I can probably. She's supposed on, to send I, you I the invoices. Are you so telling me she's plugging? She's hiking so a price. So, Ayodhya was it, it was an IPR yeah. for me. Yeah. So, no, no. Sorry. So, first of all, you have to plan an advance. Yeah. yeah. So, before yeah. you know. Because we went in or you know, before these guys make up, you send the arrows. No, I, I, I guess also Dabur, yes, yeah, yeah, so Dabur obviously kind of buys, you know, consistently on news genre. They have been doing that for some years now, you know, but there were many clients who came on board, you know, fresh, who never used to look at the genre also. But I can tell you one thing the maximum revenue that I kind of made that particular day was clients who were not buying on news genre and they didn't come only a linear. They came out digital also. So that was that was a really good news for us. And that was actually a way forward now as we move forward. The TV digital integrated work. And that's so, the You see, yeah. it's, so, it's a, let me butt in here. Any highlight event in the country or from a content point of view always will attract very high viewership. You don't need a data pre hand for that. You There is always a gut you which works for that. No, so yeah. I will tell you that. So is there the is gut a gut which on work. So I no. will give you some numbers, Ashish, I remember offhand. Again, the top four legacy brands touched an average of those two hours, they crossed a million views on an average, which is huge. And Pankaj, not only not during when, you know, the entire live telecast is happening, it also happened during the prime time. Huh? That's where, you know, if you look at the data between 7 to 8 p.m. also, we have numbers as large as 2.2 concurrent views happening at that point in time. It is, it is, it's a repeat. It's not even live. So you can imagine the kind of traction one was getting. But conceptually, as I said, the highlight events always attract huge viewership. Brands understand that. They plan it before and as to how they want to, you know, uh, ride the brand wagon at that time. And at the same time, you know, uh, content producers or but broadcasters. You don't, you, you don't ride the wave because you're not news, right? So when it, events of... No, there are highlight events for us also, which comes on, you know. So uh, I'd like to tell you one highlight event. Some okay. movie. Yeah. So what is movie? 
So uh, during the pandemic, when the pandemic started, uh, Modi used to come and say something on TV, right? Say what is going to happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So Modi live across 199 news yeah. channels would generate almost 20 ratings, right? Yeah. All put together. Yeah. 20 GRPs. Right. So if you're there or not say 199 channels, if you're there in like 50 channels also, which you will reach out to a massive number of people. Uh, number of people nobody people, can right? do that better than that. Nobody and can more do that. So, than so one has and to plan for yes. those 50 channels. Will never achieve and you sound very relevant look, you know, at that Pankar, part. Right? Earlier you said, you know, from a revenue point of view, one thing I have to share, if you look at the structuring of the way that any revenue comes from me, you know, it max, max the money comes the government and the retail. Corporate yeah. is a very large chunk, you know. That you got to remind that's me of my Modi ji. See, that's my challenges, stuff. where that they look at very anally, they look at the data, they don't look at the qualitative parameters. Yeah. Exception being, you know, Dabur. Off the camera, I will tell you what they look at. Since now we are also very proud of <laughs> working with the government as well. Very good. Uh, to have data going with them. So that is the fun. So, but interesting. Thank you guys, you clapped for me. Last week I had a, I had a shoot for court with Bharat Dabolkar. So he told me, we had this huge thing, thing going on. And he said, listen, when everything happened, it was it was getting extended. He said, but I agreed I will come to your show only on one condition. I said, what? He said, I'll come to your show if you have let me have the last word. I said, okay. He said, last word. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, that was the show. But thank you, my friends. Thank you so much. Thank you with uh, with all humility. Humility. I'm so happy to be still part of this industry and to have some lovely friends, uh, Rajiv, uh, Mona, Ashish. Thank you. Thank you very much. And God bless you all. May you all remain healthy. Hearty and and wealthy, and you guys wealthy. obviously are. No, no, no doubt on the wealth front. I don't need to, you don't need my wishes, and I don't think I think God has been kind. India is the country to invest in. India is the country uh, country to invest in, and I think we should uh, continue this. And I hope in the next one decade or maybe lesser or more, we do meet up again and chat up on this. You wanna have the last word? You wanna have the last word? Last word? Last word? Last word? Last word? Credits to Bharat Thank you guys so much.